Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Still checking out the Kaizen CTF. A couple of challenges. We're moving into some of the networking stuff. Uh, the first one was called Packets Without Borders. It was a 100-point challenge. Uh, challenge problem here is RIT department intercepts some foreign network traffic coming from an employee's computer. How many packets have a non-USA IP address? Note this does not follow the usual flag format. Um, so... <laughs> we we finished this challenge and we were banging our heads against it for a while because honestly uh, I was trying some crazy ideas to like generate or like search for all the IP addresses like I wanted to know I wanted a list of all of the IP addresses um, that were like within the USAA the, sorry the United States like what was the US what was the United States range of IP addresses um, so I did a lot of googling for that which it turns out I didn't really need to cuz I mean we get this 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 set of packets right so I'll cd into Pakistan borders and I'll unzip it here cuz we get this this bunch of packets and we can crank them out with 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 Wireshark we can take a look at them here and again it's just a bunch of packets right so we just want to know which of these are from the United States and which of them are not so I tried googling some crazy stupid things like the IP address range within um, the United States, and I found a bunch of crazy Google results and stuff like that to know, okay, what numbers are within the range for the United States. Um, and I try to, like, generate all the IP addresses with using, like, Python's IP address, um, module, but all these things were crazy that I didn't have to do. I should have, it's a 100-point question, so I was wondering, like, okay, how can Wireshark filter by the United States IP address? And I did some Googling, filter by country, and <laughs> the first couple of results I ended up finding eventually were like, is it possible to create a capture filter to exclude any United States IP address? And he says, oh, absolutely. You should be able to use something like IP and not GOIP country equals United States. Um, I ended up using just this not IP geo country equals United States, and that got me the number that I needed. So, I have it up here. Once I open up Wireshark, we can use that as our filter. Not IP, GOIP country, because United States. And it filters through all these, and down at the bottom, the displayed packet number. You can't, I don't know if you can see it that well. There are 44,928 packets in total for the file, but there are only 19,350 that are outside of the United States. And that's what this filter did for us, and that's the number that they wanted and that we were able to actually submit as, uh, 19,350. So that was the flag in our case. That's what we were able to submit. So, for one thing that's cool, I didn't know Wireshark could filter like that. I didn't know it could filter by country, but uh, I also... Like, didn't know that there was a filter for that in, in Wireshark. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> so, that's it. Um, really interesting challenge. I kind of completely, really overthought it, but I should have known it's only 100 points, and Wireshark should be able to do something like that. So, cool that I finally figured that out and got the syntax for it. So, a good Google search. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying some of these Kaizen CTF videos. I think uh, there were a lot of really cool challenges for the CTF, so I wanted to showcase them and demonstrate them for you. So, thanks for watching. Bye.